Alright, so Liz is going to try to level the Elugu. Elugu. The Neptune. Neptune. Neptune 2. Leaf. With. Piece of paper. This is a highly technical tool. <coughs> we do have a 0.2 millimeter feeler gauges. Um, but this is what everyone recommends for this process. Yeah. And I have already turned the power supply to 115 volts from its default 220. I was going to um, ask about that. You'll want to do that or you'll either burn down your entire house <laughs> or nothing will happen at all. Uh, don't play around to see which one happens. Uh, okay. I found with the Creality, just use the screw here. Okay, well I'm going to do point 0.1. Don't I want to do point 0.1 and let it do its thing? Won't it like go automatically? Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. That's what I was going to do. All right, all right, all right. Get, go do the computer side of things. Get, go away. How's it going in there? Good. How's it going out there? Oh, it's swell. Okay, I don't see a little scrolly wheel for 0.5. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Does that mean that points 1, 2, 3, and 4 are too tight? What? There's no scrolling wheel for 0.5! Oh, the middle, yes, it means that 1, 2, 3, and 4 are too tight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Well, I'm gonna try. Okay.
Alright, so. Okay, so the very first print off of Leaf, and this is, what is it? This is a trophy for the Magic Tournament at the school where I teach. Uh, because I wanted to actually give the kids a trophy this year. Okay. <laughs> so I've got my and supports. It is good it is, resolution. I designed it myself. I think I've, this is on draft, too. Yeah, this is on draft. It took 20 hours. 20 hours to print. Oh, the bed doesn't really flex. It's flexing a little. Well, another thing is this print was a little close to the bed. Yeah, it was. So that might be why it's not really flexing. Listen to that satisfying the crack. Oh, yeah. This is bigger than I thought it was going to be mm -hmm. when I designed it. <clears throat> did come with one. Oh, yeah, it did. Don't break it. Which part? Any of it. <coughs> okay, I'll be right back. All right. Okay, now we'll start the other side. Mm. close to the bed there but so the Elegoo Neptune 2 I I think actually uh, this is a keeper it was, yeah. it was quiet and it, it, it was pretty the, easy to level it the sound you hear now <coughs> is <coughs> when it was like, doing the tops of this mm -hmm. and it was going between it sounded like chirping birds oh did it Nice. I was like, where are the birds? It's like negative zero <laughs> outside. Where are the birds? The sound you hear now is pretty much what you hear. When it's printing. When it's printing. You don't hear the stepper motors. I mean, you can hear the traction somewhat. But not really. Yeah, not really. Not unless you really, really listen to it. But yeah, so. Um, good definition. Uh, it's pretty quiet other than the fan, which... You can turn the fan down, but I don't know if that's a good idea. I'm not gonna. So yeah, I think uh, I think this is a keeper. One thing I do like uh, about this, as opposed as opposed to the uh, Ender <laughs> Three version one, is when you're leveling it, like even without a auto leveler or a BL touch, um, there are options that you can just press it and it goes to the extreme corners. Whereas the trail, you had to turn off the stepper motors. And, um, oh, is that why you were telling me to turn off the motors? Yeah, you had to turn off the stepper motors on the Trality. Not on this. You had to manually move the bed to the motors and all that stuff. Oh. But no, um, it took less time to level this manually than it takes to actually go through the auto-leveling process on some of our FL Suns. Okay. Well, um, I'm they? not going to worry about that right now. Because we're not printing anything else right now. Right. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So yeah. So, first job done. Twenty hour print. Um, Which I'm only gonna write on the invoice sixteen hours because if I had done it on the QQS, that's what it would have been. Twenty and a half hour print. Yeah, we could only print at sixteen millimeters a second, but you know, 60, it was a test 80. print on our new printer. Yeah. <clears throat> and I'm glad we chose something this large as a test print. Now, anyway. Yeah. You weren't. But the the trees. Okay. So the other thing with the Elegoo is on the disc it comes with Kira 
4.8 and if you go Cura 4.12.1 which is the current version right now there is no setting for the Elegoo Neptune or Elegoo anything so I had to do the one on the desk so that meant trees were experimental it's kinda so, weird I gotta trim that area I don't know if that really mattered at all so it might be and they, they looks like it turns out just fine anyway so alright so that's the uh, Elegoo Neptune 2 aka Leaf and I think it's a good one. Yeah. All right. Bye, all.